welcome to our channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to figure out if a misfire code is being caused by a defective coil. As you know, when you have an engine misfire code, it can be several things. It can be an injector, it can be an ignition coil, it can be a spark plug wire if it has wires. Obviously this is a coil unplugged, so it doesn't have spark plug wires. It could be the spark plug itself, worst case scenario, no compression on that particular cylinder. So today, I'm going to show you how to figure out, like I said, if you have a bad ignition coil using your code reader or portable scanner to diagnose which code. So what I'm going to do to illustrate this, this is a defective coil and I'm going to install it in one of the cylinders. I'm going to remove the good coil and place this one and run the engine for a minute or so. shouldn't have to be that long is going to trigger a check engine light and it's going to trigger a code, a misfire code. What I'm going to do, I'm going to read it first and that misfire code should be in the location where this bad coil is going to be. After that, just to make sure that this illustration is accurate, what I'm going to do, I'm going to install the good coil back on in that cylinder and I'm going to install the bad coil in a different cylinder and it should give us the misfire code for that one. This will ensure that, in fact, the misfire code was caused by a defective ignition coil. So, let's get started. As you can imagine, it really doesn't matter which ignition coil we replace with a bad one because it's going to give us the trouble code for that cylinder. So, depending on how familiar you are with Fords, 4.6 liter, you're going to have one, two, three, four, as far as the firing order, five, six, seven, and eight. So, one, two, three, four, passenger side, five, six, seven, and eight, driver side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the front coil on the driver side, which is going to be number five cylinder. And when we start the engine, it should give us a misfire on cylinder number five. So, that's what I'm going to do. The size of the balls is 7 millimeter. Okay, so this is a good coil. And now we're going to install this defective coil so we can get the misfire. I don't need to tighten it super tight, just snug. Connect the electrical plug, and now we're going to start the engine. Okay, so let's start it, and it should have a misfire, of course. Okay, so the check engine light just came on and we're going to read the code. Should be misfire on cylinder number 5. Let's check it out. I read the codes with a portable scanner. I'm not going to walk you through those steps. Hopefully you know how to do it. Just connect it, turn the key on and just read the codes. Every scanner is different so just follow the instructions. And here it is. P0305, 
which is misfired on cylinder number five. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clear it and we're going to move that ignition coil to another cylinder so it gives us the misfire on that cylinder instead of five. Simple. So I'm going to select erase codes Okay, so no codes left. So now, like I said, we're going to change the coil to another cylinder. doesn't need to be super tight just enough so it doesn't come loose and we have that same steps And like I said before, it doesn't matter which coil we replace, we just want to switch it to a different cylinder to get a different misfire code. So here's the bad coil going back in. Cylinder number four this time. Connect the plug back in. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start the engine back again. And this time we should have a misfire on cylinder number four. And we shouldn't have a misfire on cylinder number five anymore because the good coil is back on. So let's start it. And there it is. So there's our code P0304 cylinder 4 misfire detected. So I'm gonna clear it obviously. Okay, no codes left. And there you go. That's how simple it is to diagnose a misfire code and see if it's being caused by a defective ignition coil. So what I need to do now is obviously remove the uh, defective coil from cylinder number 4 and install the good one back on. Obviously there's no need to film me installing the good coil back on because we already accomplished the purpose of this video which is exemplify how by having a code and moving an ignition coil from one cylinder to another you can know for sure if your misfire is caused by a bad coil. Because if after you replace the coil your misfire
fire, you're still in the same cylinder, then at that point it's going to be caused by something else. We already said it could be an injector, it could be spark plug, no compression, you name it. But this is simple and you can do it in a few minutes. If you do what I just showed you in this video, it will shorten your troubleshooting process to a minimum. Plus, you will know for sure if you actually need an ignition coil before you buy it. So, there you go. Pretty simple. Thanks for watching today's video. See you next time.